Hi, welcome back to In Your Defense. I'm attorney Steve Tolan. As one of my musical heroes, David Byrne of the Talking Heads once lamented, and you may ask yourself, how did I get here? <laughs> yes, here is a strange place right now. Where is here? What is here? Here is that intersection between trying to run your business, keep it operational, provide for your employees and your staff, and then also keep the community safe, keep your customers and clients safe, and follow the COVID restrictions and rules. That's the intersection we're in. So let's talk about the five ways to limit your liability and steer clear of any problems with the city or with the state if you are a business that is up and running in this COVID-19 climate. First and foremost, it's kind of common sense, but it bears repeating, follow your city guidelines. You're gonna to need to appoint a task person, someone in your office, it could be whoever or whomever, pardon me, handles your human resources. It doesn't matter, but it's, it's gotta be someone you trust, obviously, that has um, cachet with your team and staff, somebody who has a, a position of influence to follow all the updates on city guidelines. For example, here in Austin, we will have a new policy about wearing masks soon that's been instituted by our mayor, uh, city of Phoenix, for example. Many large cities are doing that, and so you gotta, you gotta pay attention to those city guidelines, okay? That's the first one. Second one, check in with your team. Uh, it, it, generally, if you haven't already done this, you need to just have a, a check-in. You can do this in, in sort of smaller meetings with different smaller teams, or you can do a bigger meeting. Kind of just depends on the size of your office. But you wanna check in with your team and, and get a sense of how they feel about being open again, how they feel about seeing clients and customers, how they feel about how people in the office are interacting, how do they feel about uh, masks, hand sanitizers, uh, the daily practices you're doing, if you are open and running about sanitizing and things like that. Uh, with that comes, comes a really important obligation to provide safe options for your customers. So for, for depending on what your business is, that's gonna look like uh, if you're going to if you're going to have the option of being open, you're going to want to have masks available. You're going to need to buy extra masks and have them available. If if your city requires people to wear masks in public, or if you're a business that, and I would probably strongly encourage this. Uh, have whoever comes in your office needs to be wearing a mask and they need to keep that mask on. So uh, you need to provide then extra masks if somebody forgets a mask. Uh, gloves if it's appropriate, if you feel like that's your rule inside your office. You need to have hand sanitizer available. You need to have marks with masking tape of X's of where people should stand. You need to have plexiglass if, if appropriate. So whatever those things are for customers, uh, have those available for them and the same goes for your team. Uh, provide the same options for your team members so they know they can count on that. So you need to provide number three for your customers, a safe environment, and number four, provide a safe environment for your employees, the same goes for them. And provide alternatives for both, for your employees and your customers. Curbside service is an option. Limit the number of people that come in and out. Provide video services. This is the time to up your game. Get more with it from a technology perspective and provide alternatives because I hate to use this term, <laughs> it's terrible, the new norm. Uh, ugh, I hate even saying it, but that's the reality. Folks, that's where we are. We're in this uh, position of a new normal, and you're gonna have to find new ways to serve your customers and make your employees, if you want them to stay with your team, to feel safe. So provide those safe options. And number five, and this is a really important one, and the last one I'll say is have a plan for if an employee tests positive. Uh, remember your HIPAA guidelines and compliance issues. You can't share private information about an employee to your team or staff, but have a plan in place to how to deal with that and communicate to the staff when people do find out that someone's not there because they've been exposed to COVID or they did test positive. If you're not able to communicate that because you don't have the wishes of the employee, you need to constantly have a place where the, the, the team Team feels safe about uh, the safeguards you're putting in place and you just have to be real about that conversation. So those are the five steps I would advise you follow to keep your business safe during this COVID time and uh, as always tune into In Your Defense for up-to-date issues on all these and more. Thank you.